Did you watch today's congressional hearings on responsible gun ownership? Victims' families from Uvalde, children who were there, law enforcement, they explained why responsible gun ownership is so important. There's a door between our classrooms, and he went to there and shot my teacher and told my teacher tonight and shot her in the head. And then he shot some of my classmates and the whiteboard. When I went to the backpacks, uh, he shot my friend that was next to me. And I thought he was going to come back to the room. So I grabbed the blood and I put it all on me. Do you feel safe at school? Why not? Because I don't want it to happen again. Do you think it's going to happen again? On the morning of May 24th, 2022, I dropped Lexi and Julian off at school a little after 7 a.m. My husband and I returned to the campus at 8 a.m. for Julian's award ceremony and again at 10.30 a.m. for Lexi's award ceremony. To celebrate, we promised to get her ice cream that evening. I told her we loved her and we would pick her up after school. I can still see her walking with us toward the exit. In the reel that keeps scrolling across my memories, she turns her head and smiles back at us to acknowledge my promise. And then we left. I left my daughter at that school, and that decision will haunt me for the rest of my life. Republicans, however, trotted out their go-to mouthpiece, who they used to troll victims after shootings. You heard that right. They send this person out to troll victims after shootings. Her name is Amy Swearer. Now, that's ironic because every time she spoke today during this hearing, I was swearing. She works for the Heritage Foundation, and Republicans send her to do these hearings after mass shootings and to do their bidding. This is what she said in her opening remarks. I have testified before various legislatures after several mass shootings, Parkland, Virginia Beach, El Paso, and unfortunately, too many others. And I hope to God this is the last time I ever have to testify before a legislative body after a mass shooting again. I fear that it won't be. And I fear that it won't be because the conversation has become predictable. An unspeakably horrific event like Uvalde or Buffalo happens, reflexively, almost compulsively, come calls for Congress to pass a whole host of gun control measures largely targeting peaceable law-abiding citizens. Should anyone dare question the constitutionality, practicality, or even the effectiveness of any of these policies, their opposition is immediately framed as callous obstructionism, and their legitimate concerns are brushed aside as, and I quote, bullshit. Many of you are the same ones mocking anybody for, quote, talking about doors, when a single locked door in Uvalde would likely have saved 21 lives, and when all of us just walked in here today into this building with its limited public access points, its one-way locking security doors, and its plethora of armed officers. Leave it to a Republican party to claim that they are the victim of the Uvalde mass shooting since they are being mocked for focusing on doors instead of responsible ownership. But Democrat Katie Porter was not having it and absolutely humiliated the gun lobby hack Amy Swear during the hearing. Watch this clip. I asked you if that bill was correct, if the bill would allow any gun owner to maintain possession and you said yes, yet you testified that the bill would allow people to become felons overnight. Earlier today, you testified that you hoped that this was the last time you testified before Congress. For the sake of our nation and the integrity of this Congress, I, said, I Congress, do too. I said Congress, after a mass shooting, trying to figure out how to solve a problem that we are all heavily invested in solving. Ms. Swear, that is I have not asked point of order, point a of question. Order. How dare you? Reclaiming my time. How dare you misstate the law? How dare you ask questions that you do not even want an answer to? Ms. Swear, I'm moving on. So you knew that the bill, you said yes in response to my question, that you knew the bill would allow the gun owner to maintain possession of any semi-automatic assault weapon that was lawfully possessed before the bill becomes law. Ms. Swearer, I respect that we have different opinions on Representative Cicilline's assault weapons law, but we cannot have different facts. We have a duty to debate the merits of proposal. You falsely testified under oath. Would you that like that the bill, explanation of no, why I will I said not? That? I have not yielded, Ms. Swearer. S- s- suspend. Madam Chair, if she's going to ask questions, shouldn't she let the witness have time to the answer? The gentleman is not recognized.
You falsely testified Madam, under Madam oath. Chair, oh, point of order. Point of order. What is the gentleman's point? I've been order? accused of falsely testifying she, under oath, the, and I would like to the, address it. The gentlewoman has accused her of perjury. Is she going to hold to that? Or are you going to allow the witness to respond to that accusation of, of criminal conduct? You, you have not come forward with a, a, a significant point of water. There's a reason why 85% of Americans disagree with Amy Swearer and the radical right Republican extremists. Look, we just want our kids to be safe at school. That's it. We're really not asking that much.